New Dolly-Powered Robotics from OpenAI This is the first attempt to develop web-scale diffusion artificial intelligence models of robotics. The Dolly-Bot from OpenAI allows a robot arm to rearrange objects within a scene by inferring a description of the objects, then creating an image that represents a natural, human-like arrangement and finally physically placing the objects in accordance with the target image. This is significant because it can achieve this zero shot using Doll E without any additional data collection or training. This is a promising direction for web scale robot learning algorithms because the results from human studies prove that it is possible. To align future developments of these models with robotics applications, the researchers have also proposed a list of recommendations to the text to image community. One of the most significant recent advances in machine learning has been web scale image diffusion models such as Dala 2 from OpenAI. By training over hundreds of millions of image caption pairs from the web, these models learn a language condition distribution over natural images, from which novel images can be generated given a text prompt. Large language AI models, which are also trained on web scale data, were recently applied to robotics to enable generalization of language conditioned policies to novel language commands. Given these successes, Researchers from OpenAI wanted to see if web-scale text-to-image diffusion models, such as DALL-E, can be exploited for real-world robotics. Since these models can generate realistic images of scenes, they must also understand how to arrange objects in a natural way. For example, generating images with a kitchen prompt would be more likely to display plates neatly placed on a table or a shelf. This is a clear application to robotics. To predict goal states for object rearrangement tasks, which is a canonical challenge in robotics. Manually aligning goal states with human values is brittle and cumbersome, so this is where web-scale learning offers a solution to implicitly model natural distributions of objects in a scalable, unsupervised manner. The research proposes DollyBot as the first method to explore web-scale image diffusion models for robotics. A framework was designed which enables Dolly to be used to predict a goal state for object rearrangement, given an image of an initial, disorganized scene. The pipeline converts the initial image into a text caption, which is then passed into Dolly to generate a new image, from which the AI then obtains goal poses for each object. To note, the publicly available Dolly was used as it is without requiring any further data collection or training. This is important because it allows for zero-shot autonomous rearrangement, going beyond prior work which often requires collecting examples of desirable arrangements and training a model specifically for those scenes. Breakthrough DeepMind AI discovers new matrices algorithms. After publishing their paper in Nature, the Google DeepMind AI team has introduced AlphaTensor, which is the first artificial intelligence system to discover novel, efficient, and provably correct algorithms for fundamental tasks like multiplying matrices. This answers a 50-year-old question in mathematics, how to multiply two matrices the fastest. This paper represents a crucial step in Google DeepMind's mission to advance science by unlocking the most fundamental problems with the use of artificial intelligence. AlphaTensor is a system that builds on AlphaZero, which was an agent that displayed remarkable performance in board games like Go and Chess back in January 2016. The paper from Google DeepMind shows the evolution of AlphaZero's journey from playing games to solving untackled math problems for the first time. DeepMind explored how modern artificial intelligence techniques can be used to automatically discover new matrix multiplication algorithms, which is math that's used to process images on smartphones, recognize speech commands, generate graphics for computer games, run simulations to predict weather, and much more. It also helps compress data and videos so they can be more easily shared on the internet. AlphaTensor, based on human intuition, discovered algorithms that are more efficient for many matrix sizes than the current state of the art. The AI-designed algorithms outperform human-designed ones, which represents a significant leap of progress in the area of algorithmic discovery. The DeepMind research team first converted the problem of finding efficient algorithms for matrix multiplication into an easy-to-learn single-player game. The board is a three-dimensional tensor, which is an array of numbers that shows how far off the current algorithm is. The player must use a set number of moves that correspond to the algorithm's instructions to modify the tensor and zero out its entries. If the player succeeds in doing so, the matrix multiplication algorithm is probably correct for any pair and the efficiency of the algorithm is then measured by how many steps it takes to zero out the tensor. 
This game is extremely challenging because the number of possible algorithms to be considered is greater than the number of atoms in the universe. Even for small cases of matrix multiplication, the possibilities are limitless. Comparable to Go, which was a challenging AI game for decades as the number of moves possible at each step in the game is 30 times greater, above 10 to the 33rd power, depending on the setting chosen. To play this game well, one must be able to find the tiny needles among a vast array of options. To surmount the challenges of this domain, which are significantly different than those of traditional games, DeepMind developed multiple crucial components, which include a novel neural network AI architecture that incorporates problem-specific inductive biases, a procedure to generate useful synthetic data, and a recipe to leverage symmetries of the problem. The DeepMind team started their AI without any knowledge of existing matrix multiplication algorithms, and they used reinforcement learning to train the alpha tensor agent to play the game. Alpha Tensor learns and improves with time, and eventually discovers historical fast matrix multiplication algorithms like Strassen's, allowing it to surpass human intuition and uncover algorithms much faster than before after enough training. Alpha Tensor also uncovers a wide range of algorithms with state of the art complexity, with thousands of matrix multiplication algorithms for every size, showing that there is more to matrix multiplication than was previously believed. These algorithms have many mathematical and practical properties, which DeepMind took advantage of by modifying AlphaTensor so that they could find algorithms that run faster on specific hardware, such as an NVIDIA V100 GPU or a Google Tensor processing unit. These algorithms multiply large matrices 10 to 20% faster than the more commonly used algorithms on the same hardware, which demonstrated AlphaTensor's flexibility to optimize arbitrary objectives. Google DeepMind's results can be used to guide future research in complexity theory, which is a method that aims at identifying the most efficient algorithms to solve computational problems. AlphaTensor helps to understand the richness and efficiency of matrix multiplication algorithms by allowing researchers to explore the possible algorithms in a more efficient way than previous approaches. This space could lead to new insights that will help DeepMind researchers to determine the asymptotic complexity of matrix multiplication, which is one of the most fundamental open issues of computer science. Because matrix multiplication is a core component in many computational tasks, spanning computer graphics, digital communications, neural network training, and scientific computing, AlphaTensor discovered algorithms could make computations in these fields significantly faster and more efficient. AlphaTensor's ability to take into account any objective could lead to new applications for designing algorithms that optimize metrics such as energy use and numerical stability. This will help prevent small rounding errors from snowballing throughout the course of an algorithm's work.